Hey guys, Darkovica here, and we are back to some corpse party. Yeah! I have no idea how loud this is right now. Alright, I do actually believe that we have to be Satoshi and the others. Oh, yes, it was this. It was this. I remember. Yeah! I'm going the right way! Woo! Oh, what's up? Didn't know where I was going. Alright, we did it. Now we are in this location. And I'm going to save, because there are a million and seven things that could go horribly wrong. It's a sound of something like rattling in the background. Yep, you can hear it. It's that door. <laughs> I know I just saved. <gasps> oh, jeez, that door scared me. It's fine, though. Oh, well, those look like terrors. Take care. A single, a single error may kill someone. Why do I feel like I'm about to mess up horrifically? Which one looks less disturbing? That one has, like, more blood. It's a female statue. It seems like it's got something in her hands. It's a male something. It's a statue. It seems like something goes in his hands. So, wait, does she have? Oh, no, they both have something that goes in their hands. Ooh, not the button I wanted. All right, let's go over here. There's got to be a way to know the answer to that. This looks like I can walk across there, but I can't. What's up with the weird boards here? Can I take these? Can I have these? Nope. Hello. What? That didn't do me anything. There's a piano here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't go here? Why not? Hello. I can't go there. What? We I don't believe we have a thing or what we need in order to be able to progress here. So we're just gonna book it. Oh wait. Lies a fam in the bloody halls of music and dance lies a family who lost their chance. The mother longs for her ensanguined child. The father his bones dripping with bile. That's, that's a hint about what I just looked at. Okay, so whatever we're looking for, the mother longs for her child, the father, something about bile. And then... Alright, let's... The window won't budge. Okay, thank you. That's not actually what I was trying to do. It's someone has dropped a small scrap of paper. Handwriting's been found in. By the basement, there is an incinerator. There is? So what should we do? Why is this being written? Seems someone has dropped... Letter O2. On the wall, next to the poster, there's a secret button. Next to the poster? What? What? Something about a basement. Oh, can't, can't go in there, I forgot. Find the ten letters! Oh, please don't tell me I have to go looking around for letters. I'm going to have a fit if I do. We turn downstairs and head south and use the long board? Oh. That awkward moment when you didn't know you had a longboard. Well, whatever. You learn something new every day. Is it this? Ah, from a distance I can see some stairs. He's a longboard. Yes. Alright, we're back in! I should save. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to come back here. Caution, only those certified to use the incinerator are allowed to operate it. Thank you all. Oh, we're in the basement. Well, this place seems funky. It's a poster on the bookshelf. Fine, the ten letters. Well, thank you. Seems someone has dropped a small scrap of paper. Letter three. On Earth is this... Oh, the, uh, the last one ended with what? So, on Earth is the secret. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them, but I think... Well, glad we figured that out. There's a longboard on the floor. Yep. Acquired the longboard. Thank you. I don't want the longboard to keep shattering. Because I went the wrong way. Someone left a note here. My beloved sister, I'm in rough shape. The green floor cuts into your leg muscles. Don't walk on it. Please, keep on living. Look for what I left behind. There are many spirits within this school. Just like humans, there are good spirits and bad spirits. You can tell by their color. Calm, gentle spirits have a pale blue or green color. However, those that are evil and hateful carry a fiery red light to them. It hurts. Sister, 
dearest. I'm so lonely. I don't want to die alone. I'm so scared. I... The penmanship is too sloppy to read past this point. It's filled with dangerous looking glass. What? Okay, apparently that was not the right path. Hang on, now I gotta go back. Wait, 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 wait. I saved for particularly this reason. Oh, hey. That's what I'm supposed to use the longboard for. It seems that someone has dropped a scrap of paper. Letter number four. You have to press them in a certain order. You know which ones to press? Tell me. Alright, um, first you press... Alright, so apparently I'm gonna have to write this down. I know I'm going to have to write this down. What? Set go. First you press the rightmost one. Can I take this back? No. Ah! Okay. Bloody splatter of 2-9. Does he come back? Oh, he does. Okay, good. I'm not done exploring. It's filled with dangerous-looking broken glass. That poster is really high. Four steps to the right. What? Seems someone has dropped a small scrap of paper. Letter number six. Wait, where's letter number five? We just missed it. Okay. What now? After that, you need to hold on to the ribbon and... Okay. This is a mess. Alright, I can already tell him. Oh my! Alright. Full sip to the rat. What happens if I do this? Oh. Odd. Alright. Whisk me away to somewhere else, ghost. Ooh. Yes. Is this a bad idea? Where am I? Where did you take me? What? Oh, there's a go, go there. Um, why do I talk to it? Does talking to it kill me? Am I going to regret this? Oh, what? What the hell? What? What the hell? That definitely wasn't there before. Two nine. I can't. It's, it's like doing Russian for Yoshiki is impossible. No way. Isn't this classroom one dash two? 29 is written on the blackboard. Human bones lay in a haphazard pile. From the hair, it appears to be a schoolgirl's. <clears throat> Try to enter a classroom. Oh, no good. No good. We can't get in. What was that bloody 29 about earlier? Maybe it meant this class? I don't know. Something's happening. What's happening? What? What? I did a thing. I've progressed the story. What's happening? I bet this white light is not doing my face any favors. Sh Shinozaki, are you okay? Oh my. It's br bright. Whoop. What? <gasps> We're in our classroom. This is... We're back. Our classroom! It's our classroom! For real? How? Seriously, look! My desk! I think we could tell just by the fact that nothing's destroyed. Oh, you're right! Is what I want to say, but... Yay! We finally made it back! I'm so relieved! I wonder how Satoshi and company are doing. Oh wow, we are actually legitimately back. Otherwise, we have to get rid of the vending machines. What? <laughs> and then, back over here, we're gonna switch back to them actually, because I think that's how you have to progress this scene. Yeah! Was that Shinozaki just now? Oh my. Oop! Fireworks. Whoa! Something is happening. What is going on here? Kishinuma? Oh my. The worlds are trying to combine. You okay? Yeah. Oh, something's happening. What? <laughs> oh, spirits! Oh my. It's the girl in the red dress. What the heck are you? I have to rewrite some of it because, yeah. It was a rainy after school day. Just like this. 
I... I loved looking out from the corridor and watching the rain fall. What is she saying? You think I know? They were peaceful days when everyone else went home and I was all alone. I was really no good with people. I had few friends. Most days, I passed the time alone. But I didn't mind. I loved being alone. I preferred it that way. This is supposed to be an elementary school kid. Whoa. That coward. That vile stain upon the fabric of humanity. He was a disgusting opportunist. As always, I was alone, watching the rain fall from that corridor when I suddenly heard my teacher down a dist uh, from a distance. I'm worried about you, he said, with a kind face. He kept talking as he approached me. It was such a peaceful day. The sound of rain splashing against the building was heavenly. This day would be perfect, except for that man. He kept talking to me until his lips drew close to mine. Oh my. I was shocked. The man suddenly embraced me. Ugh. Ugh. He then began to rub his hands all over my body. In horror, I looked up at his face. It was fat, ugly, distorted. Of course, I tried to shake him off and run. But he grabbed a hold of my arm and wouldn't let go. Stop! Let me go, teacher! Don't! Come on, you came here because you want to do it, right? Don't kid yourself. It's horrible. I'll tell everyone! You'll never be able- Oh, you'll never be able to teach again! Is that what you want? Oh, is that what you want? I don't know who said that one. <laughs> go ahead and try it. You, you- You got no friends. You think some moody, introverted bitch can oust me? Huh? You think anyone would listen to a pathetic wretch like you? Evil laugh. Oh, this is rich. You poor, poor thing. Terrible. You're terrible. Terrible. The absolute worst. I've got like a weird voice today, so the voice acting's weird. Why would you say that? Am I a bad person? Did I do something wrong? Even if I'm a bad person, even after you forced yourself on me, what gives you the right to say that? And I think she's crying now. Or screaming. My bad. I went a little too far. Let me apologize, okay? I think he hit her. No biggie, right? Let me wipe those tears for you. Get away from me! Stay back! If you take one more step, I'll... I'll jump! I'll die! You stupid slut! Oh my god, this is horrible. No, stay back! Enough of the theatrics. Get down here! No! Oh god. She died. Ooh. This is awful. I forgot how horrible the original Corpse Party was. Like, they're all they're both horrible in their own right, the original and the remake. I died. I lost my footing on the edge of the third floor corridor and fell. The teacher, in shock and horror over what happened, set out to conceal my body. However, while trying to hide my body, he ran into the principal. He didn't even try to save face. He confessed to everything. The principal decided it would be best for the school's name to be left untarnished, and agreed to help what ha hide what happened because of the heavy rainfall. Not a soul was around to see them. Awfully convenient for those degenerates, wasn't it? I was buried deep inside the school basement, underneath the floorboards. I was listed as missing, and eventually, everyone forgot about me. Terrible, isn't it? This is horrible. Are you saying that ghost story was true? What does this have to do with us? Are you saying you're the one who dragged us down there? That is correct. Are you kidding me? Wait, there is something I must tell you. There is another me. What are you talking about? Naturally, I couldn't go to heaven. I couldn't cross over. I cursed that teacher. I cursed him and cursed him and cursed him. 
Over time, I had come to hate the whole world. All those people cheerfully going about their lives, faces that never knew true suffering. Trapped within this school, unable to cross over, I began to be view their carefree lives with great envy. My hatred kept growing and growing, till I felt something suddenly lift from me. That was my spirit, my gentle spirit. I had come to resent humanity, until that resentment was all I had. My other half is the embodiment of all that hatred. She is the one who created these closed spaces, and started summoning people at random into there. Her hatred is too strong. I can do nothing to stand against it. But for some reason her power has been weakening lately. I managed to send the two of you back home. I understand, but I have one request. Please, save the others too! I beg of you, can you do that? I am sorry. I cannot. Why not? They are too close to her. I cannot affect her sphere of influence. Even though you're both connected? I'm sorry. Then what the hell are we supposed to do? What do we gotta do to save them? That's... Please, tell us how we can save them. There is one way. Tell us! You must head back to the school and dig up my body. Then we both can rest in peace. We, we have to go back there? I don't recommend this. If you decide to head back, I cannot return both of you to your world a second time. But if we do nothing, Mochida will die. Kishinuma? Let's go. We gotta save them. Yep. I guess we gotta, huh? Yeah, take us back. We'll surely rescue your soul. Are you sure? If you really want to, then I'll send both of you back. Leave it to us. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here we go. Back. Back to wherever it is we are going. It's my crappy Russian accent. Patented. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm truly sorry. Please do your best. We all seem to be in one piece. Now let's find Satoshi's group. Hey, Kishinuma. What's up? Thanks for coming with me. I know you didn't want to, because you're a coward. Like hell I am. You're just an ice queen. I wish I could say that was true. But I'm actually really scared. Come on, let's go. Woo! All right, I think that's a good place to end. All of that progression. It's going to take a lot of editing. Alright guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment in the comment section below what you thought of this video. Uh, join the Potato Buddy family and all of that fun stuff. I'm still working on this whole outro thing. I <laughs> love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!